Lindsay here. Welcome to Do What You Love. Today I'm going to be making a DIY wreath and all of my supplies came from the Dollar Tree. This is going to be my spring to summer garden wreath. <laughs> and I had picked up the supplies for this wreath quite some time ago. I know guys, but the weather here where I'm from in Pennsylvania has been awful and you know what's really sad is I have been growing hydrangeas now for about six years and every year they get larger and more beautiful because they do turn into bushes and I have this big spot in my front yard that I would really like to be like overgrown with hydrangea and they just came out they had the beautiful curly leaf they were about this big and we got another like frost with snow it literally was 75 degrees like actually hot and then the very next day it frosted and like was snowing it was unbelievable so my hydrangeas like they're all brown and wilted and they don't I don't know what's gonna happen so they don't they don't look good at all either do my day lilies so I'm so like ah, and that's the kind of weather we've been having like one day I'm like yeah let's make the wreath today and get it up because it feels like spring to summer kind of thing and then the next day it's like oh my god we're back in winter it's terrible so that's why my video for like my wreath and all the other cool things that I hauled from the DT to like you know my planters and my hummingbird feeder and my flags and all that stuff I haven't done that video because it's just not that kind of weather yet <laughs> but I promise soon as the weather breaks here that video will be coming but I just don't want to delay making this wreath any longer so that's what I'm gonna do today and it took me like two minutes to tell you all that but you know you know me, I love to chit chat. So before we get into this DIY, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Become part of the Lovey Army. Lovey's rule. Yes, yes. This is a hashtag just in case you didn't know, but hashtag Lovey's rule. I try to upload a couple times a week. Sometimes I upload almost every single day. I might have to cut back on that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I try to upload as often as I can. Sometimes it is five to six times a week. Sometimes it's three. It just all depends. But um, yeah, I'm going to quit talking and let's roll the next footage of the DIY. So these are the supplies that I'll be using from the Dollar Tree. I have one of those nice um, wooden wreaths. I have some really pretty floral garden gloves. A cute little froggy that says welcome. And of course a spade or shovel whatever you want to call it and these are the supplies that I'm going to be using from the DT and all I need is some floral wire and hot glue and let's get this wreath the going. Thing we have to do is get this guy attached to the back of the wooden wreath and for that I'm going to use a little bit of this gauged wire and some hot glue. So now I'm going to do is take this DT floral and begin to arrange it around this wooden wreath and my ideal look is to have some floral go this way and then some floral go this way. I hope this angle is working for you guys. I'm trying to give you guys the best angle with the best lighting. So I hope this is working because I'm kind of doing the wreath cornered way so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I hope this angle is working. So now I want to take these gloves, which are really nice garden gloves from the DT, and I think I'm going to probably hot glue them together first, but this is how I want them to look. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was I left one glove with the bottom on, and then I cut the bottom of one glove off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick them how you want them, which I kind of like it like that. So I'm going to fold them like that, 
And then I'm going to take the piece that I cut off and put it around. And this will hold them together on the wreath. So what I'm doing here is taking my glue gun and putting a lot of glue on the back of these gloves, fully cover them, and then I'm going to place them on top of the floral and press really hard. I'm not going to show you all this, but I held those gloves on top of the floral for about two minutes to make sure that they were absolutely secure. Okay, so the next step is to attach the spade or the shovel, however you guys want to call it. And of course I'm going to do that with hot glue. And I'm going to try to get the base to rest on the wreaths to give it support because, you know, these are, have a little weight to them. So when I hack a little, I'm going to try very hard to get the base to, like, rest on the wreath and get it exactly where I need. And you're going to need a lot of hot glue and you're probably going to have to hold it for quite some time. So the shovel wouldn't lay flat, so I used the hole in the handle and wired the shovel to the actual wreath and it worked perfect. It kept it still in a stable place. So the last thing I want to do is add these pretty pink flowers over by the spade to finish it off. I'm going to put two on the side and then take one and put it right in the center and this should be a completed wreath. 